what is up you guys it's your boy zilla back at it again with another vlog for you guys today uh today um like i previously mentioned or i have been mentioning in a while uh i got some more stuff for the truck so i'm gonna go ahead and show that to you guys in today's vlog i also got something that i've been doing a lot of research on um as you guys know i blew my transmission right after the tune the, the tune the tune on um the 4l60 transmission that my truck has um let me show you guys so this right here is my old 4l60 transmission 4l60 um a lot of you guys that know about gm cars or gm trucks actually uh you guys know that this is a ticking time bomb and it really doesn't really work for uh for mods if it's stock once you modify it like a stage one or stage two you're good but obviously obviously mine was stock so i'm gonna show you guys how to save this transmission from going out too soon so here we have a transmission servo and not just any transmission servo it's off of a corvette transmission so supposedly these are a lot stronger and make your your shifts from one and two and three to four a lot better and a lot less sluggish so we're gonna see if that's true we're gonna replace the stock servo from the 4l60 transmission put this corvette servo on and see what it does because apparently the more slippage it just has on the transmission the more your clutches wear out i mean it makes sense but this is supposed to firm them out make them a lot more firm uh, grip a lot better so the clutches won't slip hence why it supposedly elongates the life of your transmission so we're gonna check that out see if it's true so it's supposed to be a really easy install i already took it off of my old transmission it's pretty simple but now that transmission's on the truck we're gonna see if it's true if it's that easy or not so remember every build is different every truck is different so uh hopefully it is if it's not then we're still gonna do it but let's get to it Well, you guys, I tried doing a little time last for you guys, but I was having a hard time, especially because this transmission is used and it has a bunch of dirt, mud, and all that other stuff. But if you guys look over here, we have it out. It gave me a hard time only because, like I said, I had a bunch of mud, dirt, all that gunk in there, but it's out. Now, let's compare. Does it look different? Yes. It does, as far as springs. This, look at how easy I can just squeeze this. This one, on the other hand, is a little bit harder. Uh, spindle looks about the same. But this one looks like it has a bit of wear. You feel it. I don't know if it's normal or not, but yeah. Now, uh, ways to take it off. There's a bunch of videos on how to on YouTube, which is why i did it so it's pretty simple uh there's this locking mechanism or not locking this locking uh hold on give me a second there we go let's bring it over here it goes like this i have a transmission out so i'll just put it back in how it was ah uh, let's see pretty much goes like this like that all the way pushed in and it's being held in by this o-ring which goes right here and then you have this locking pin so you push it in a little bit and that should give you enough uh slack to take this pin out then what you want to gonna what you want to do is uh rip this o-ring and you pull it out to the side comes out like that and then it allows you to pop this out and take it out so now let's go put in the new one i'm gonna lube it up and put it back on and fill her back up with oil because it's leaking a lot of oil well you guys she's just about done uh servo is in i already turned her on and i had her with the jack sands on and now because it's a uh, rear wheel drive on right now so it did shift 
a lot better, but I haven't taken her out to the street yet. I started putting some uh, more fluid on the car just because uh, it started leaking a lot. I didn't expect it to leak that much, but of course it's, it's a transmission. It's filled up all the way, so uh, that's a given. But now I do want to show you guys the engine bay. I have some stuff that's not on there yet, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how the engine bay looks like now. And I got to say, it looks a lot better. It looks really clean. Uh, the color combo that I'm going with, really nice it's popping i guess it's called an illusion red but let me go ahead and show you guys so see we got the intake in uh, illusion red valve cover is done in illusion red i'm waiting for the power steering bracket uh that's going to be powder coated also not in illusion red alternator is also getting powder coated and for a bigger part of this uh what do you say uh, engine bay or motor whatever uh, I have a different manifold and for those of you guys that mess around with these motors or trucks whatever you guys know that the trailblazer SS comes with a better manifold and that's the manifold we're gonna go with uh, obviously that one has a 90 millimeter port on the throttle body I got myself a 92 millimeter so we're gonna have to port that manifold out and uh, we're gonna get rid of this little baby manifold and throttle body. Uh, different fuel rails that come with the Trailblazer SS are gonna be also used. E85 kit uh, from FMS in injection or injectors. We got his brand FMS fuel system, something like that. I'll, I'll go ahead and put his description on the link or on uh, my bio or the description, whatever. Um, sorry, I'm thinking a lot, a lot right now that I'm looking at the engine bay, some of the stuff that I wanna also do to it. I'm getting ideas as I'm speaking to you guys but uh yeah so we have a lot more stuff coming to this motor uh different fuel system like I said different fuel pump uh just to make more power so hopefully we'll see if that transmission holds if that one doesn't hold then I guess we're gonna be forced to do the 4080 but I wanted to show you guys the engine bay now we are going to go ahead and uh, take her out for a spin. I just got to fill her up with a little bit more uh, transmission fluid. I want to tape up some wires that I just seen right now when I was showing you guys the engine bay that I don't like, that look a little ugly. So I want to go ahead and tape those up and put some uh, wire cover on there. And then, yeah, we'll go see how she does. Uh, I also have something else coming for the truck. It should be done next week. And then um, I'll probably show you guys before they're on the truck maybe after I'm not sure but uh I have a lot of stuff for this truck right now especially because the Z is down again um so I'm not really paying attention to the Z only because I've been having this truck for already four years and just recently I did the motor and then it sat for like another six eight months without a tune finally got the tune and you know now that I'm driving it I'm I, I really like how how it's been driving oh got a call all right, you guys, here we are, just driving the truck. So far, so good. The shifting points do feel a lot firmer. I'll give you, I'll give you that, but I mean, not a big difference, but it still feels good. Got some cops waiting right here. Interesting. It's up on the freeway a little bit, see what, uh, See if on the freeway you can get on her a little bit more. Well, same thing, there's traffic, but try to do a little bit. Not too much. We don't want to break the law. Oh yeah, we're definitely not going to be able to do anything. Well, that sucks. Well, I know we did the truck. That's back at home. 
uh, once we get back home, because I came on a nice little hike uh, to Ascot Hills, if you guys know where this is at, you know they take nice cinematic pictures up here. So we decided to come take the dogs over here, get some nice views. I don't think you guys can really see it. The sun's like right there. It looks really pretty, but yeah. Sam, Blue, what's up, Blue? Hey, what's up, Blue? Blue, what's up? Well, you guys, after our lovely little hike to Ascot Hills, um, been driving the truck for about a day already, about two days. I mean, she's driving solid. I mean, shifts, shift points are a little bit more firmer on the heavy load and then when they're just normal driving like we're doing right now it's fine just normal driving just normal shifting